Colin here with a, another Spend Dog production. Today I'm going to be showing you a Spend Dog game mode. Today's game mode is Hidden or Dead. Let's tell you about this game. Okay, the main objective of the game is there's prisoners and guards. What the prisoner has to do is make his way up to the objective. Uh, probably wanting to hide their way up and not being tagged by the guard. So hiding is a very good thing. So eventually, make your way up to the objective. In this case, we have poles and that we use. And when you get there, you have to tag it and say objective reached. The role of the guard is to check areas and guard the pole to make sure that the prisoners do not make it there without being tagged. So you can you use a flashlight and when you see somebody, try not to give it away that you know that they're there. Sneak up behind them and tag them or chase them. The role of the guard, first of all you're going to need a flashlight since you play this in the dark, which we haven't mentioned yet. So yeah, play this game in the dark. So when you do, I suggest a good LED light for really nice bright, you know, yeah. Easy to see people in the dark is what I'm trying to say. Suggestion for the guards. When it's dark out, you'll probably see a lot of shaded areas. Always check there and check in ditches that are, people can always be hiding there. Also check under bushes, behind trash cans, and obvious places. So being a prisoner, always wear dark or camo clothes, and uh, try and get try and get worn out clothes because uh, playing last night, um, I found out that kind of lighter clothes might also help too. Because if you're darker than the shadows, you're obviously obviously going to be seen easier. So um, a few rules about the prisoners: you prisoners can hide in one spot for two minutes, and they, uh, their objective is to get to whatever pole or whatever you might have for an objective. So you have to get there and hit that and say object, objective reached to, in order to win and without being tagged. So let's give some tips about hiding. All right, so where we play is we play at two houses basically. So when we start back here and try to make it to the big pole over there, you can probably see it on film. Yeah, I think you can. Uh, so when we try to make it over there, when my friends run up and hide, I like to lay right down here like this and watch what the guard does for a while before I make any moves. I like to see what places he checks where I might be able to go for that round and where he doesn't, where I might not want to go because he might check it when I hide. Alright, now let's say you're about this close to the pole and this usually happens to me. The guard's coming this way. And they're gonna probably gonna walk around down the sidewalk. So you might want to try and circle around big bushes like this. Or if they're coming this way, you might want to go around this way and then go for the pole. 